Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today, we're going to take a look at my top 10 current WWE wrestlers that are on the roster. Uh, number 10 is Samoa Joe. I'm not sure if he actually wrestles anymore. I know he's more doing announcing. But he comes in number 10 spot. I always liked him. It was cool to see his uh, like interference or entrance music hit kind of out of nowhere and, and uh, do some damage. And has a nice um, like bad guy kind of persona, but you like him. So Samoa Joe's number 10 for me. The current WWE roster. Coming in at number nine is John Morrison. John Morrison just kind of cracks me up. Uh, I know he left wrestling to do some like movies, and I think he did Underground Lucha or whatever that thing was. But uh, he did a pretty funny movie, like a stuntman hired guy. But anyway, he came back WWE he had, like a big, you know, vignettes and stuff. He's coming back, and then when he got back, he just kind of got teamed up with the Miz, and he just kind of clown around. He almost seems like. He's okay with just being mid-card and doesn't want to move, but he's pretty entertaining. John, so John Morrison coming in at number nine, number nine spot. In at number eight, we got Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler is extremely talented, got a lot of good moves like the famous sir, the zigzag. Uh, he's also really good in the ring, good on the mic, pretty, um, got the high charisma, funny, funny type, funny type guy. Uh, he, did, he did a whole comeback as a, as a heel, was, and the run was okay. Uh, but I noticed you just kind of stick him in anywhere. Like, you need a guy to, like, help a guy or make a guy shine. You're going to put in Dolph Ziggler. So he's kind of more of a mechanic these days. But I'm pretty sure people would like to see him get, like, another run, like a title run. So Dolph Ziggler, number eight. Number seven is Randy Orton. So Randy Orton, I used to couldn't, couldn't stand him when he arrived in WWE. But... His character now is pretty cool. He can pop up the RKO. You know, that's a, that's a big thing about popping out of nowhere. And he he's definitely good at it. Um, I think he's a better look now. Uh, maybe he's more mature or something. So he's more enjoyable to watch in the ring. And, like, his promos are a little bit better. He still has the one of the worst taunts I've probably ever seen. That, <laughs> that taunt he does is really, really lame. So I guess that's a... Uh, like, I don't know, like a, a line back to his lameness. <laughs> Anyways, when he comes in number seven, I think maybe because he's a throwback from, I guess, the Ruthless Aggression era when I was really watching and I stopped during the PG era and started watching again probably around 2016. And it was cool to see him uh, more in this kind of type of role. So number seven, Randy Orton. Coming in number six is R-Truth. Uh, R-Truth, he's been around for a little while as well. Um... Always entertaining, really high energy in and outside the ring when he does promos or when he's actually wrestling. He's really good in the ring. I think, I don't know if you could say underrated because the fans know he's not underrated. But uh, he's more of a kind of comical, but he brings that pro wrestling thing to life. Brock Lesnar is coming in at number five for me. Uh, I did enjoy when he went to UFC. I enjoyed his initial run in WWE. Um... Wasn't a huge fan. Uh, later on, you know, he had him kind of, um, they would say he's a part-time champion or whatever. But it worked for his character to just come in and dominate every once in a while and not being able to be beat really in the main events. And being Brock Lesnar, it was believable. So it, it played out really well, I, I think. And it'll be good to see him come back and hopefully be dominating once more. Uh, I think it could use it right now because definitely Raw is kind of faltering a little bit. Um, SmackDown seems to be a bit of a better show, or it was. It's here. So, ups and downs, right? But anyway, number five, Brock Lesnar. Number four, we have the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. I really do like AJ Styles. <laughs> he's, he's pretty funny. Um, on the mic, is, I mean, because his accent, I don't know. He, he kind of cracks me up. Uh, of course, he's really good in the ring. We all know that. We also know he should have been in WWE a lot sooner. But he's there now. He's able to do all the things he was been able to do, which is really awesome to see. Um, I will say his matches kind of maybe go on a little too long. But I think because of his ability, that's the spot they put him in. But AJ Styles, definitely an awesome wrestler. Uh, funny on the mic. Glad to see he's got some, some gold. Uh, the tag team he's with. Um, the new guy is pretty, pretty good, I think. But number four, AJ Styles. Number three, we have Shayna Baszler. 
My top three could almost be interchangeable, like three to one, two could be three, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Shayna Baszler, I'm probably more of a recent fan. I always kind of knew who she was. But in WWE, she has a cool character, usually more of the heel. Um, I guess always a heel, actually, but I think people like her. She's a pretty big fan base. And the tag team with Nia Jax has a lot of good comedy. So in the ring, she has like a methodical style with the MMA background. So, And it plays out really well. She does a good job at uh, dominating opponents. Uh, we won't talk about the Alexa Bliss storyline. So, <laughs> number three, Shannon Baszler. Very cool superstar. Moving on. Coming in number two is Ember Moon. Um, she was probably number one for quite a while, but you'll see why. Number one, I changed. Uh, Ember Moon went back down to NXT. Um, had some success, tag team champions, but then seemed to be back on the losing streak. Uh, they really kind of dropped the ball with her when she went to the main roster. I'm not sure why. Uh, she is probably the best finisher in the business, or maybe I've ever seen. It's a, it's a pretty much a stone cold stunner off the top rope with like a corkscrews into it, and then stuns her opponent. So, very cool. So, Google that, or <laughs> like Ember Moon Eclipse. You'll see it. So I'll put it on here, but it's probably a copyrighted strike or whatever. But number two, she's really good in the ring. She has a high impact move set. Um, her mic skills aren't great. I would say they probably need. That's probably her her weak point right now, or it, it was. It seems to be getting better, I think. But in the ring, probably the best in ring performer in WWE. And my number one pick is Bailey for current WWE superstar, even though she's injured. So as an active on the roster right now. Uh, but Bailey did a heel turn in 2020. Uh, it was very successful. Uh, became champion. Uh, ran with the belt for over 365 days. Really um, changed her persona and did it, did it very well. Very believable. And she reminded me of like 97, 96 Stone Cold about her about the mid of her heel turn in 2020. So the initial heel turn was like, you know, I'm a bad guy and blah, blah, blah. Kind of the standard heel stuff. But then she really got the ball rolling. Came up with some, like, um, catchphrases like the ding-dong hello and the, the role model thing and calling people sheep, stuff like that. So it, it I think it, I don't know, it rang pretty true. So it sounded good. Uh, her mic skills are definitely, I think, up there, laughing in people's faces. It does a lot of funny stuff. Um, like mid-heel run. It was uh, really like, good in the ring as well, as always, but it had a more like vicious aside, um, more offensive, I guess, or aggressive, more aggressive. And they later on gave her a talk show, which I wasn't a big fan of. It's cool they had that much confidence in the character or whatever, but I kind of liked that um, hard-nosed heel that she was in about mid-2020. Um, very good in the ring, good on the mic. Really um, carried SmackDown on her back, I think, throughout the Thunderdome era, which you know, which was a very odd era in general with the whole TV screens and no um, people. So it was very odd. She wasn't in WrestleMania, um, so you had a couple of appearances on the show. So that was, it was very uh, that was odd to I think a lot of, of fans. Um, there's the belts became Grand Slam champion, but number one, Bailey for a current. WWE roster. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.